So let's start working our um, aggregate plan. So our instructions tell us to uh, set the workforce level at 1400. That's that's up here in the production, and so we we do that and and uh, bring that on down here through December. <clears throat> it says permit a maximum of 15% overtime. We're not ready for that yet. Account for hiring and uh, layoff costs based on planned production. Any additional needs beyond overtime are subcontracted up to 100 units. Beyond 100 units of subcontract, we have stock out. So um, there's several parts to this, but we're just going to build it as we come to it. Our beginning inventory is equal to the ending inventory for the previous period. So that's E2 up here. And, um, and we'll copy that. It won't be the right numbers yet, but it's the right formula. And then our ending inventory, um, I'm going to build it in two parts. So our ending inventory equals um, our production, which is uh, C3, plus um, uh, the beginning inventory, D3, minus the demand, B3. And does this look right? Yeah, we produced 1,400 plus the 100 we already had, so that's 1,500. And then 100, 1,100 that goes out, we're left, we're left with 400. Yeah, that looks right. And so we copy that down. Oh, so we end up with these negative numbers. So we're going to have to modify this. We, we haven't wasted time. We're just going to modify this. So let's go down here where it goes negative, and we'll, we'll uh, start here and modify. So we need to make this an if statement because if it goes negative, we want it to actually print zero. So if uh, our original formula there, that, that calculation, if it is less than zero, then print print zero. Else, print C6 plus D6 minus B6. And that results in a zero there action a zero there so let's copy it it should not change up through July and in fact it doesn't so now we have a formula that works in every case let's make sure again so we've got 1400 plus 100 1500 minus 1100 that's 400 and down here we've got 1400 plus 400 which is 1800 minus 2400 would be a negative 600 but we can't have negative inventory we print zero yeah we've got a formula that works great Average inventory is just the average of the inventory, the beginning plus the ending. So you can add them together and divide by two, or you can use your average function. Average um, and uh, there you go. Is that right? 500, 100 plus 4 is 500 divided by 2 is 250. Yep. So, and down we go. So we have our average inventory. That's what we'll build our costs up. We'll do costs later. Now, um, what happens next? If we don't have enough, we need to go to overtime. Now, where does that happen? Um, I mean, I could build it up here, but let's 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 think down here. I want overtime to show up as a positive number. So down here in um, See, in actually in, in uh, October. In October, I've got 1400 plus 400, 1800 from 2400, um, or 2400 from that. This is where we went negative. But I want to express that that deficit as a positive. So let's let's do the reverse. Instead of adding these two and subtracting this, we'll take this as a positive number. The demand is a positive number and subtract these. So um, it equals um, B6 minus C6 minus D6. All right, what does that have? That shows us with 600, and in fact, that's the overtime we'd like, right? Uh, so we have a, have a wonderful thing here. Does it work going up this way? Ooh, it, it gives us with a negative, it, it leaves us with a negative number. So we can't have that. We've got to fix.
Okay, so we've got this negative number, so we're going to have to um, make sure that doesn't happen. We don't want negative over time. And so we'll go up here and turn it into an if statement. And we say if this is um, less than zero, then print zero, else um, print B3 minus C3 minus D3. Is that right? That should not be a multiplication. Let's see here. Is this right? I believe that's right. Let's copy it. Okay, that's good. So now we've, we we have an overtime that works, except we've got a, uh, a maximum of 15%. So now we have to modify it one more time, which means another if statement. And, and what we're going to be modifying is... Um, is this part right here, this last part. What happens if this number is greater than zero? We need to limit it to 15%. Um, uh, well, 15% of 1,400, 10% would be 140, 15% would be 2,100. So we're gonna limit this to, uh, to uh, I mean, sorry, 210. We're gonna limit it to 210. So we have another if statement. We said if this is um, greater than 210, then just put 210 in there, else uh, write it in, B6 minus C6 minus D6. And we have a, uh, another parenthesis. That should be good. Is that good? Oh, yes. So. We're limiting this to 210. Let's go ahead and copy this up here. Shouldn't change those. It doesn't. Fantastic. However, that doesn't satisfy all of our um, demand. Um, so, I mean, think about it. We have 1400 minus, I mean, 2400 minus 1400. That's 1000 minus 400. That's 600 minus 210. So we, we've still got to do some more. So we've got a subcontract. So in subcontract, I need to deal with what happens if uh, this exceeds um, a 210 here under, under overtime. So um, what I want here, so I want, um, uh, again, I want to be subtracting um, the demand. I'm sorry, I want the, the, everything else to be subtracted from the demand. So uh, B6 minus uh, C6 minus D6 minus F6. Ah, yes. Is that right? That is not right. It should have been G6. I'm sorry. Um, there. G6. Ah, yes. So now, 390 plus 210, that's 600. Plus 400 is 1,000. Plus 1,400 is 2,400. So we're satisfying the demand. Fantastic. And... Ooh, we've got to make it not equal to zero up here, though. So, um, so we we have this. So we we're going to turn this into an if statement. So, if that number is less than zero, then write zero. Less than zero, write zero. Else, um, just use that minus d five minus g five. Hopefully now we're good or almost good, not quite good. Should be should still be the same down here. Great, except we've got uh, 100 unit uh, of subcontract limit, so we we, we can't we can't uh, do 390. So we've got to um, to limit this. 
So instead of just typing this in, we've got another if statement here. So if this is greater than 100, then type 100, else type it in. B6 minus C6 minus D6 minus G6. And, yep. All right, I'm going to stop this here, and uh, I'll come back in, a, in a, another video and finish up with the cost and everything else. But um, now you've got subcontract, and we'll deal with stock out and the cost in the next video.